This video is designed to show you how to use a couple other features for encrypting a copy of a file that you can email to someone and also encrypting a self-extracting file which is a fancy way of, of giving some, a file to someone that doesn't have click and dagger. So here we'll do the email stuff first. So instead of regular protect we're going to go to make encrypted copy. So we're going to select that. No. Everything is the same. You want to punch in your password, verify your password, and then go ahead and click OK. And now you can see that we have built a separate encrypted version of our original document. So now if you wanted to email someone an encrypted copy but leave your copy alone, this is the way to do it. Now let me show you how to uh, do something for exe. So encrypt copy to exe means it's going to self-extract. The other person doesn't need to have cloak and dagger to open it up. However, it also could be recognized as a virus by your computer, so it could be a pain in the butt. Uh, it's best to put on a USB drive or a shared file folder or something like that. So encrypt copy to exe. Punch in your password. I'll hit OK. There you go. So it's going to look like normal. However, when the recipient clicks on it, this is what it's going to look like. So you can see the phrase box is a little different. You can punch in the password here. And it's going to ask them, where do you want me to save these files to? So this is where they would save it on their desktop and be able to open it and work with it just like normal. Okay, so hopefully, uh, hopefully that all helps. This video is designed to show you how to build an encrypted copy that you are able to email to someone and still leave the original alone, and also.